ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are live. Children of all ages, we're live with episode 14 of our Two Brothers, Two Veterans, Two Views open discussion podcast. We have, yeah, got a new, new setup. The uh, animated background, let us know if it's too distracting. I can turn that off. But I think it'll be cool to, to mess around with for a little bit. But yeah, new, uh, new layout. So tell us what you think. I'm pretty happy with it. Goat, what do you think so far? You think it's a distraction? Yeah. Well, and I say that because of what was I doing? I was doing one of my training videos. I had something less distracting than that. They were just like, uh, almost like a drone going over a town. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with drone or a town, <laughs> mind you. But that's all I was paying attention to was it looking around town. All right, well, let's do this. When it stops, it should just wondering if it'll just keep it static. I have it slowed down. Anyway. We're going back to the same topic for the last two weeks. Um, we didn't get a chance to go through uh, Goat's revised list. Um, and we didn't get which was revised to... again yeah. after the last stream. Yeah, <laughs> and we didn't get a chance Making... to go through my revised list, which um, this will technically be my first review. We're on the path towards the perfect apocalypse bug out back. Mm -hmm. I think we're getting pretty close. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be a variance of opinion, you know. Like, uh, who was I talking to? I think I was talking to. Hatsube about the roadmap, or maybe it was Shane after we're, after last week's stream, mm -hmm. and it was like I was instantly like I don't even know freaking roadmap until we started talking about it, and then oh. I was like, well, actually, I mean, mapping out where you've been and whatnot, you know. Again, I'm thinking long term. Granted, I could probably find one, but at least right away, I'm probably going to want to go to like a outskirt town until things settle down and while i do know a few towns around here but you've had a map i could find one even more lost in the woods yeah. to, to to get away to uh but again you know long term i don't want to be having a scrounge for a road map i'd rather just have one for a yeah. few extra dollars you know? right um but also uh after talking to I think it was Shane. Wasn't it Shane that had the pellet gun, or was it mm -hmm. John? It was Shane. Okay. Yeah, after talking to him, I uh, was going to add one of those and went with something else after we discussed it. Yeah, uh, I think I, I think we may have been on the. Sure that. I, I think we may uh, be on the same wavelength because I was thinking about a pellet gun and I was like, eh, you know what? I think I have a better idea, <laughs> and so I put my better idea on there. And I'm just, I had to delete some things off of mine. My cart is accurate, but my wish list was not. So I'm, yeah. Well, I'm, while you're doing that, we can to, go through, we can go through yeah, mine, because mine's ready to go. So, and, and another new feature. Yours, I'm going to, I'm going to check our, uh, our places that people can reach out to us. Jesus, whatever you call yeah. it. Our incoming, our inbox. There you go. Yeah. We'll just call it an inbox. So another new feature email. that we added for this layout is, boom, bigger, hopefully easier to read, display capture. So what we look at when we look things up. So yep. as we can see, my cart came out to 1,000, which it is over, but fight me. <laughs> uh, so in no particular order, I got a blue tarp. Why don't you zoom in a little bit so we can see the items even bigger? Go. So I got blue tarp. 
Just standard blue pellet card. Yep. Nine by twelve should be good. Uh my alternative to the pellet gun. I decided to choose a slingshot instead. This one's pretty neat. Or a wrist rocket more than a slingshot, but you know, yeah, same deal. Same thing. Yeah. But it's got a little thing where you can put either a laser pointer or a flashlight on the on the bottom of it. <coughs> which is kind of neat. It's got, you know, replacement bands, it's got a little bit of ammo. Thought it was a good deal it for looks, twenty-five bucks. You know? Looks like you have the arrows too, right? Looks like little darts, maybe. Yeah, the little pellets right there. You can see them. No, not pellets. Oh, no, those are pellets. I thought those were darts. The it's ones like, beneath it are like uh, Allen head screws for the the rail. No, 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 third one or fourth one down that one. Yeah, the Allen heads. Those are oh, just Allen heads. heads. Okay. Yeah, they look like little darts or something. At no, first. no, it's just Allen heads. Let me see. Let me. If I can zoom in more. There we go. Um, next one, I got a water purification system that's hand operated. As opposed to the, the, like the battery powered one that, uh, it wasn't a, I think Hatsube had a big yeah. electric one. Yeah. And then Shane's was manual though, but his yeah. was primarily meant for that specialty bag. Yeah. That special bag. Yeah. So yours comes with a bottle too. Is yeah. It comes with a little bottle. Yeah. And then a little, you know, siphon area so you can stick it into whatever, you know. Um, talking about it, like. You and your damn stapler. Yep, talking about it, you know, more <laughs> about the, you know, the, the stitch kit. It's like, I don't know if I'd want to be able to sew myself up. Jeez. So I just, you know, throw a stapler on there. I couldn't do a stapler. Well, I mean, I could. But. I don't know. No, I feel, I feel like, like both, maybe. Like, if you're on the run, like you can't stop and sew yourself, then a staple is going to come in handy. But if you can stop, you're going to want to sew yourself. Because a staple is a temporary solution, not a permanent one. It's well, not really a healing solution. I mean, this is a suture thread alternative. I don't know. I, I, I'm of the mindset, like... I don't feel like I'd ever put myself in the situation to need to use it, but shit does happen. And again, yeah. I would rather staple myself than, than, than sew it up. Nah. If I was doing it myself, if I could get somebody else to sew me up, <laughs> then fine, sew me up. But if I'm doing it myself, it's got to be staples. Um, I put this little kit on here because I've seen it used a lot. It's got like a pot and then like a smaller pot slash cup. Um, but it's it's a it's a butane uh setup. So it's got like a little butane torch down yeah. here. It's got some silverware and some cups. Um uh, open that one in a new tab. I kinda wanna see what that looks like. So it's got the the one point two liter pot and the six point six liter pot. Uh it's got like the little insulated handles. It's got like a stainless steel um Where's the butane part, though? Right here. I just put the picture up. That's in it somewhere? What the fuck? Yeah, it fits inside the... This all fits inside the little... Jesus. Pot. It's got, you know, fork, knife, and spoon. It's freaking nuts. And then it's got a little, uh, like, canister holder base. <laughs> but I didn't really get this kit for the 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 butane. I got it for the actual like pot and the silverware and stuff because that I've seen these used and they're really good. Yeah. But and I, I was like, well, I mean, if I happen to come across some some butane, then great, I'll, yeah. I'll use that. If you you know? spare butane, refill it. Yeah. I put on some insect repellent. <laughs> Just because if. If being in a zombie apocalypse isn't enough to make you crazy, the bugs and mosquitoes would. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. To a certain extent, your own natural sweat and grime is going to keep them off. Because you're not going to yeah. be regularly showering. Uh, I mean, but... I, I could sweat. I could be covered in sweat and mosquitoes are still going to fuck with me out here. So, I, I just... I don't know. It's 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 Shit. a... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, what's it called? Which, Quality of life. 
you know, addition. What you should do is put like some a bottle of deet in there, and then you just soak all your clothes in it. Yeah. But you might be able to do the same thing with that one. But uh, glow sticks again. I found out this is not a 100 pack of glow sticks. It's a 20 pack of glow sticks. For 20 Even though bucks. it says 100 pack in the picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Uh, uh, I got the, the large scale road Atlas It's 50 bucks for this thing, but it's got, God dang. Yeah. But you say that, but if you look, it's got everything. It's got every state, every national park. So it's even got we stuff from Canada. At. Like this is a good. See, I was struggling to find, I wanted to get one that was like laminated and I just couldn't really find one. This one, I mean, this one is laminated. So I figured, like a I figured, fuck it, plastic you know, I'll just book. get some freezer bags. <laughs> yeah, or Walmart, like we said, a couple Walmart bags or something. No, but I was like, you know, talking about the maps, I was like, you know what, that'd be that'd be worth it. Worth spending a little extra money to get a map of everything. A compass, yeah. obviously. I still didn't add a compass. Actually, got the got the poncho. We had talked about the poncho a lot. Uh, I changed out the little cooking stove that I wanted. I found this one, which is pretty cool. 25 bucks. It's like a folding. You get that in the butane one? Yeah. Well, because I'm not always going to have butane. I want to be able to cook. And it's got, you know, it folds down and lays flat. Like, that's neat. <laughs> I just feel like you could have saved money on one of those. Like, either just get the cups or just get that. To go with the yeah, cup, like the, just the cups and that, or just the butane one. But you know. yeah, maybe. But you know, cool little you know, wood fire stove that I can just you know lay out on the ground somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the food rations. Nothing too crazy. I'm not buying like a bucket of you know thirty days worth of food, uh. but. That's just, you know, emergency food. Is that the same food. ones you had last time? Yeah, the really? same same ones I had last time, yeah. I was just thinking maybe you would have changed with all the other options people had on there. No. The tack vest, I'm still sticking with that one. It's got the belt with it. I might have picked the same one. I uh, I found that same solar flashlight that I had. Um, I just, I like it. I think so, it even after it. we talked about it, wanting to cover on it? Yeah, yep. Yeah. The same flat power cord. Uh, purification tabs. 100 tablets for 11.85. One tablet will do a liter of water, which I think is good. You know, yeah. I don't, I can't, I can't see myself having to want to purify more than a liter of water at once. <clears throat> this was an addition that I thought was very handy. It's a permanent match. So the way that these work is they've got, you know, they've got the, the, I guess you would say Flint in there. Permanent match, but you need five of them. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, because the Flint does eventually run out, right? The wick does eventually run out. Okay. But. It was kind of the same as the. Wait, this yeah, isn't what I thought stuff. it was. I thought this was one of those fire pistons where you like, you put the, you know, a little bit of kindling in the bottom of it and then you, you, you smack it real hard and it like, the pressure makes it ignite. Mm, doesn't look like it. Yeah. It's a striker. Is, it's basically just a, a striker. Fucking handle. Zippo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A striker Zippo. Zippo. Okay. Well, I didn't realize you had to put, either way, that still might be pretty cool. I'm sure you can find, um, lighter fluid, lighter fluid pretty easily. Or, hell, just make lighter fluid if you need to. Yeah, just render your fat down. Yeah. You know, the camping hammock that's got the the awning over top of it. This one was pretty neat because this one had, like, hooks that will hook to the cover to, like, give you more space in the actual hammock itself. Which I thought was mm. pretty neat. Kind of raises it up. Yeah. The, the mosquito netting. Yeah. So it's got like a, extra netting that you hang and you can like, you know, give yourself a lot of room. 
So, mm. Yeah, the extra cabling. Thing. Yeah, and it's got you know the the safe for tree straps. <laughs> yeah, because you got to save the environment during the apocalypse, right? Yeah. So yeah, got the hammock, and then I got the same dressing kit. You know, I think that's worth it. Uh, three pack of oh that arrowheads. I was thinking wound dressing at first. Oh, no, <laughs> and then it came Shit, up. Shit! Like, did I not put one of those in there? In here, I what, didn't. didn't. I forgot didn't to put my IFAC in there. I even told you. Okay, well, I completely forgot about my IFAC. God damn it! Anyway, uh. Arrows, right. super duty has five thousand band aids. So. <laughs> That's right. It's Duct tape. It's uh, the fishing rod, quiver, the arm the brace. Single fishing rod. Was it you that had the double before, or was it? No, else? that was somebody else. Let's look at your braces. Yeah, got to man. Who needs band aids when you got braces, right? You got the bow. You got like a terminal kit, so weights and hooks. Things like that. Pack gloves. And then I changed up my backpack. To this bad boy right here. A 60 liter. Water resistant. Uh, it's got a breathable mesh. On the steel frame. I took a risk with mine. but we'll it's, got a, it's got an anti-rain cover that you can put over it. Which is pretty cool. And just all kinds of buckles and straps, handle, things like that. But I'm going to make a, a quick revision. Because <laughs> some of the stuff is going to get, one of these things is going to get cut. Or an <laughs> IFAC. Yeah, but what? Probably the glow sticks. Or the insect repellent. Or swap your butane for just the cups. Yeah. yeah, that's not gonna save you too much money though. Yeah, no, I'm bro- I'm cutting the in- no, I'm cutting the yeah the insect repellent. Yeah, get rid of your comfort. Just rub some dirt on here. Yeah, yeah. You might have to cut. Well, you have to get a cheaper med kit, but yeah. Good God, what is different about this one than this one that makes it that expensive? I don't okay. even know. You know what? A lot of these kits come with uh, glow sticks, so I'm going to pull the glow sticks, too. Give yeah. myself some real and money. You could add that one with the two glow sticks. What's that, 963? Okay. Right, plenty of room when you take off your $20 <laughs> <of> glow sticks. <clears throat> okay. That's got a splint tourniquet. This one doesn't have a tourniquet. This one does. I think you only have like $35 to spare, though, don't you? Yeah. Oh. That's a. Hmm. I mean, you got the, you got the little one up there. Oh. That's okay. Little one. This one right it here? Like, it was like $20 or something. I mean, at least get you just something. Oh, the oh, this one actually isn't too bad either. Got the tourniquet. Yeah, but you only have like thirty five dollars. <laughs> like, I don't Look. know why you're looking at the forty dollar ones. Let me cook. Let me cook. Ah, oh, damn! Over by three dollars. All right. All right. Do you think I was lying to you? <laughs> well, you know what? Cutting the tarp too. There we go. Now it fits. Yeah, you already got a backpack cover, anyways. I got a backpack cover. I've got a poncho, and I've got the cover from the the hammock that I could use. There you go. See. Boom. There we go. So There's the list. At. I've got the IFAC. It's got a tourniquet, wound dressings, you know, sander stuff. What's this? your total at though? Oh, uh, nine ninety seven forty two. Yeah, there we go. You're not even over anymore. Yep. Before you were a dollar over. <clears throat> oh, yeah. There's the list. The revised list. All right. You ready to see the better list? Uh, better is subjective, sir. <laughs> no, that's no, not. 
Okay, which 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 of the two lists am I clicking on? The second one. Second one. I don't even know why the first one came through. Okay. What was the total of your list? Total, because a few of them have to tell you the quantities, but I'm at nine ninety six ten. Okay. All right. So first item. Let's talk about your first item. What you got here? Compass. Oh, hang on, I gotta refresh my page. There we go. Yeah, so I added the compass. Yeah. Squeezed in. Because I had thirteen dollars earlier, so I changed the quantity on one thing and then you reminded me about the compass. I'm like, you know what? Fine. Just in case. And this one looks like a lanyard type deal that you can wear around your neck. Yeah, it's just a pretty basic, like Boy Scouty <laughs> compass. It even says Boy Scout compass for kids. Well, I mean it's kind but, of neat though, because it's got like a map. That's yeah. Yeah, that's pretty it's, handy. It's, got, the, it's yeah. got enough things to get the job done while using the Atlas book. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Road Atlas. So yeah, and I went with a little bit cheaper one, but it's the Adventure Edition. It has all the parks and stuff on there. Well, the other one had all the parks. Of, I know, but yours was 40. Yeah. I'm saying, mine's 19 and has the parks, Canada, Mexico... Every state of the United States and parks. No oh, shit. I didn't even but see this one. <laughs> but it's not the spiral edition. So. Oh, yeah. And I think yours was a little bigger. Yeah, mine was like a big... It was bigger. I don't know, it, it does was... say spiral bound. So mine's spiral too. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And then the, the Black Hunter takedown. Yep. Yep. Slingshot. Here you go. Here's where <laughs> I changed mine. So if you scroll two down... And then we'll scroll back up. You'll see my slingshot. I went with the fishing slingshot. Oh, yeah. Good idea. And then added in a thousand rounds of ammo so I can take down small game like birds and squirrels and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And then I got the fishing, fishing arrowheads, yeah. arrows. It comes with a few of them. I think it comes with three. Yeah, but, but those those break those break so fast. Anybody that does bow fishing will tell you like you you'll keep yeah. ahead of those but that you know you'll keep an arrow maybe <laughs> shoot yeah. it maybe three times before you just can't use it anymore. <laughs> yeah, well it just depends on what you're doing. I was thinking like kind of like spear fishing. Yeah, so if I'm doing that, they should last a little longer, but we'll see. Okay, and then you got the, yeah. the poncho. $30 yeah. on a poncho? Yeah, but it's a full-blown big poncho. Because, again, I didn't want to go with the disposable one. I didn't see which one you had. That was honestly, like, the cheapest good one I could find. Uh, let's see. This is the one I had. It's, it wasn't disposable. Which one is yours? I don't think we, like, really stopped on it long. Adjustable hood. cord. It's got side snaps. Waterproof yeah. and breathable. Yeah. Twelve dollars. Mine's more <laughs> mine's more just but yeah, but mine's like full body. That one almost looks short, even even though it looks big on those people. Yeah. <laughs> but, see, mine's like goes down to your knees, like full blown hunting camouflage bonds. Yeah, I mean, and that's definitely more viable as like a tarp than mine would be for sure. Yeah. It's a okay. multi purpose purchase. Okay. All right. Yeah, the pump water filter. Yeah. Yep. I went with a little bit different one. Because I saw yours and I didn't like that it looked mostly plastic. So I was worried about the longevity of it. And because you see, it's like a plastic stick with a putting them on a push down on the plastic handle. Yeah. It, just, it didn't look as tough. And how much was yours? So mine was 38. Mine was, oh, God. Well, hold on now. What makes this so damn expensive? Now? Yeah. So, mine was cheaper, looks more durable. And I want to say it was good for like 10,000. This is a three-stage purification. What is yours? Four-stage? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Got to do your research, man. Shit. And look at the liter. So mine does, I think it was like 10,000 if you scroll down. And then how many liters does yours do? Like per filter. 1.5 liters a minute. No, I'm talking oh, about total filter. filter. Life. Let's... I want to say it said like 10,000. 
Yeah, eight thousand, eight thousand liters. Where do you see that? Of it's under about this item. You just scroll down beneath the price. It's the first thing. Okay, eight thousand so liters. A cleanable, eight thousand liters. But I can do eight thousand liters before I need to clean it. Which, granted, you know, depends on the quality of water you're filtering. But yours is. Doesn't seem to say. But still, yeah, for the price. Looks like it's because the the filters can be cleaned. Yeah. And reused. So can mine. I was, mine was, you know, 8,000 before I have to clean it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That one looked like a solid purchase. And it's on on sale as well, so. Well, even not on sale, it's 55. Yeah. <laughs> uh mine goes a little pouch instead of a bottle, but still. Okay, you got a a, a different tack vest, but pretty much the same. Yeah. I was like I said, I was trying to find one that was as breathable as possible, but still had a belt and that one seemed the same amount. actually yours is a little bit more than but uh thirty three and thirty two and yeah thirty two ninety nine and thirty two thirty nine. Yeah, so sixty cents. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. Okay, needs a fancier that. compass. I don't need a fancier compass. Fancy? Okay. No. So. No, no, no. Oh wait, is that the right backpack? I guess it is. I, I guess I changed it. I thought I left it with the Amazon backpack, but I guess I settled on that one. So. Okay, sixty-five liters, was... which I think is smaller than mine. No, it's 45 liters. It is smaller. Because I was going for like a 60 no, or 70. No, this one... Oh, okay, yeah, 45 liters. But uh, look at this. This says 65 liters. So which one do you believe? Oh, well, then maybe it is the 65. Yeah. It says 45 right here. Yeah, it's the 65. Okay, because okay. they have a different option. Okay, so 65 liters, which... It is bigger than mine, actually. Same company. No, no, no. Okay. okay. A rainfly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I said it comes with everything you need. Water repellent. It's got little packs on the side. Pretty neat. Does it have a steel frame, though? I was pretty sure it came with a frame, but now you got me questioning. Because I was really struggling to save some money, but still get good quality. And, like, I almost went with the Amazon Basics brand. But I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to trust Amazon Basics with my livelihood. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe it has a, uh, it's a frame. I think it would have shown on the pictures or something if it did. But it looks like it did with how it's sitting on their back. No, looking at like the images. Dimensions. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Might. Maybe. Let's, let's see, looking at some people's live pictures, like it looks like it's. Oh, internal. Fr- The internal frame seems very oh. sturdy. Okay, so yeah, it does have a frame. Yeah, so it's some kind of frame. Okay, so yeah, it's got an internal frame instead of like an exterior. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty Yeah, yeah. Good pick. So a little bit bigger, but how much more did you spend? I don't know. For five liters. Oof. Oof. What? See, not because mine was, yours was 95. For five yeah. liters less, I got mine for fifty seven ninety nine. Yeah, and it seems to have all like, the same features. Like I spent probably good thirty minutes or more just trying to pick out a good backpack based off of like top reviews and things like that. Yeah. Just, yeah, still yeah. not a bad backpack. You yeah. can't hate it. Uh, duct tape, of course, self explanatory yeah. there. See, and I'm just going with one. Big three M roll so, instead of like the triple pack, but I was also trying to shave dollars off. No, yeah. because I think you had like a three pack for twenty, and I just got like one quality roll for twelve. Yeah, 
You got you you you're still sticking with that radio. So huh? no, so I upgraded. Remember, I had like the cheap like knockoff it's a, yeah, brand. It's got a phone charger and it. But this one is shortwave as well. So shortwave radio, wind up power. So I get a wind up rechargeable power device with flashlight, shortwave radio capabilities. Like in my head, this one's a way better product than the other one, and it's like five dollars cheaper. Yeah. Because uh, I was really thinking of like I, I think we talked about it last week about the recent episode of like The Walking Dead where they're like con- communicating via like CB and walkie talkies and stuff. Yeah. You know? And I was like, man, that'd be cool to like, you know, keep this on my bag at like low volume, and as I'm when I enter it, or maybe not on low volume, but when I enter a town, I could like kick it on. See if anybody's in that town. Yeah. yeah. And if I find, you know, happen to find things that need to be recharged, I got a little recharging station. And again, don't know how long it lasts, but this one looks a lot better than that, like, cheap Chinese one I had before. Well, this one's neat, too, because you can put AAA batteries in it to find any. Yeah. yeah. It is everything. Solar power, rechargeable, manual batteries. Oh, it's got a headphone jack, so you could, you know, grab some headphones and you can leave it on all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, I can just jam out. Who needs to hear people sneaking up on me? I mean, that's why you only need one head. It's okay. The hand crank so, flashlights? Okay. Yeah, so I think it was John or... It was John. Than, uh, it was John. Shane. But somebody had the hand crank ones, like manual, like spin the wheel. Yeah. And... I found those instead in a cheap little four pack for ten dollars and just you know, pump it up just do 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 do. Yeah. Again for kind of the, you know, emergency lighting. You know, I wanna clear the inside of a house with minimal light. And like you said, hell in theory, if I found some like red clear tape or something to tape over it yeah. be even better. Yeah. But I was like, man, four pack for ten dollars, like can't go wrong with that. Never have to worry about finding batteries for it. Yep. Yep. I'm done. I agree with that. Didn't make my list, but sure. Um, yeah. Well, standard like instead IFAC. of the solar power battery or flashlight, I got four of those. So. Standard IFAC. You get a whistle. Yeah, same one as last time. Yeah. Carabiner. It's kind of got a little of everything. No tourniquet, though. Wasn't there one? No. Tourniquet. Hmm. Well, I can make a tourniquet. Uh, gloves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I'm glad I'm glad <laughs> you came over to the dark side. Well, it was all about budget before. Remember, the first pack had like a four hundred dollar backpack, a three hundred dollar crossbow. <laughs> Once yeah. I freed up some more budget, I could throw in more bells and whistles. Uh, Ben, to answer your question, it was AM, FM, short, uh, shortwave, and wideband. All in yeah, one. Everything. Yeah, quiver. I can hear all the things. A hundred dollar camping hammer, huh? Yeah. Designed for two people. Okay. Oh, this has got like structure to it. All right. Yeah, this is again, with me being a big boy. I wanted to have something durable. Yeah. And it's one that you can also put on the ground if you need to. Yeah, yeah. 440 pounds. Yeah. And yeah, that was the thing after our talk about, you know, ground versus not ground. Like, well, this is a universal one. Yeah. It's a good pick. Good pick. And it can hold my fat, but of course, you know, after a few months in the apocalypse, I'd probably be shedding some weight. Yeah, you probably. <laughs> Arrowheads. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, to go with the arrows. Regular uh, arrows. Oh, yeah. so you're not doing any any breakdown arrows, huh? So, I forgot I was going to tell you about the quantities. I think that's the first time we've come to a quantity thing. Because it's actually two packs of those arrows and two packs of the arrowheads. Okay, so. So that gives me, what is it, like 30-something? 30, 30-something, 30 yeah. You're going to have more arrowheads than you are arrows, though. 
Was it? I thought it was. Oh, yeah, 12 and 18. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. That's okay, though. It's always good to have extra arrowheads. A camping blank. Yep. Yeah, so that was my uh, poncho liner. It's like the cheapest one I could yeah. find that's also small. But yeah, again, thinking ahead of like winter months and that, you know, when it's in the sack is also a little pillow for some comfort. Yeah. I can dig it. Yeah. Food yeah. rations. Uh, that's another one that's a two pack. So I got 24 of those. Uh, 2,400 calorie food ration bars. Got 24 of those. Pretty self explanatory. Yeah. Terminal tackle kit, of course. So that's what I was surprised. Like, I'm curious why you choose your rations over something like these. Like, these are just huge calorie packed bars to help get you through. I mean, so are these. These are, I think, the ones that I picked are about higher calorie. 3,600 calorie bars. Yeah. Yeah, but how much and how many? Um, three days, 72 hours. So I would assume. Nine pre measured 400 calorie ration. Oh, so the whole pack is 3,600. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, mine are the 2,400 per bar. No, per pack. Is it per pack, too? 2,400 calories per pack. Son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> so. But I would I would say we're about equal there. You're getting more, but. Wow. Uh, I guess I would thought there were 2,400 per bar, and I was like, damn, like, I yeah. just need, like, one bar a day. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so two of those food ones, and then yeah, fishing hooks. Yep. And then where your, we your cup and canteen. Yep. <clears throat> Good old army classic. Yeah, you get two K bar hunting knives with sheaths. That's cool. Fishing line. Yeah, that's a good pick. I yeah. might, I might see if I can squeeze some fishing line onto mine because I do have a couple of dollars, and seeing that you can get yours for three dollars. Yeah, it's like three dollars for 190 yards. I mean, it's only 25 pounds. That's nothing crazy. But yeah. Sharpening still got stone. my sharpening stone. Yeah. Practical cord. Yeah, paracord. Yep. Yeah. That's the good high strength one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Aqua tabs. Yeah. I Striker. I have two of those. Let me get back. Yeah. No, sorry. One pack of the tabs. So only 100 tablets. Yeah. Um but I do have two strikers though. Yeah, ferro rod, two strikers, the yeah, the spear, you I thought about trying to squeeze that into mine, but <laughs> Gerber, yeah. Splitting axe, okay. That's it. Yeah, this is a solid list. Good improvements, I think. It was pretty Definitely surprised me on the price of some of these things. He definitely showed me a couple of ways that I could Save a little bit of money on my, or squeeze a little bit more money out of mine. On like what, like the road atlas or something? Or what? Yeah, the road atlas, the the food rations, the the tackle kit. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, yeah, because yours is the whole tackle kit. Yeah, Mine's just you know, for ten bucks, I got a spool of string. Hooks and I have the slingshot fishing rod. Wait, you know or what I else? Or just use my spear as a rod. You know what else I didn't put on here that I complete? Any kind of tool? Yeah, my little like <laughs> yeah. shovel axe. Let's see. Kit. You're really lacking on yours this Damn, time. Damn. Yeah, I'm. I'm missing all kinds of shit. Well, since you got two, uh, I'll get another one. I'll make my revision and we'll present it by the end of the episode or. You know, like I said, I've been constantly getting in mind every episode. I'm like, oh, I could tweak this and tweak that. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I our, mean, realistically, I could probably cut slingshot and the stapler <laughs> and the camping cookware. I can get different cookware. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could definitely shave money. I'll just get like. Like the basic little camping pot set 
you know, from like ten dollars. I would I would replace these with one of the the, the actual like, you know, night kit. Were those uh oh no, your water towels or yeah, like you spent twenty dollars on those. Yeah. Yeah, mine are fourteen dollars and I got two of them. Yeah, but I, I can mean, get one that like can be used indefinitely. Yeah, That's, I mean, can't just be more than ten dollars forever you know? for fourteen. Yeah. So that's it. When you really start buckling down into it, there's lots of ways. Like me, you got the forty-seven dollar field dressing kit. Yeah. I just got the two knives. Like I'll I'll make do. I'm not trying to do the perfect deer dressing. Yeah. I'm trying to just get some meat out of it and get going. You got twenty three dollars on an entire tackle kit. I got ten dollars on string and hooks. But then I mean, you look at it; it's like hell. I got a hundred dollar backpack. You got a sixty dollar backpack. Yeah, There's, uh, lots of ways that we could both make wiggle room. Like I could drop down to yours, and then add something else. Like what, what were we talking about that I was missing? Mm. There was something. Or to improve on our own. Dang it. What was I talking about adding? What's on yours? There was something from yours that I was thinking about. Yeah. Uh, Tourniquet? Well, yeah. I mean, I could just pick out a different kit for that. I don't know. Maybe I was just thinking of having some actual, like, cookware or something. But. Yeah, I, don't know. I guess looking at it, I'm like, there's nothing. Yeah, that jumps out. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I could... you had a compass on yours. Did I miss it? You oh, missed there it, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's funny how like <coughs> when we the first week I had like half the items you did because I dropped too much money on things. Yeah. Now it's like I have more than you do. I have. 36 items, I want to say. Yeah, 36 items. I have 30... 31. <laughs> so I have five more items. And it's almost like a more fleshed out kit. Yeah, well, you also have to remember, I just put this one together. I didn't have, yeah. like, a baseline to work off of because I deleted it. So I had to do this completely from scratch. So oversights were made, but I can I can fix it. God, so that's another one. Scroll back up. Your fishing pole cost a fortune. Did things say like seventy dollars? It's towards the bottom. Yeah, it comes with line. It comes with lures. It comes with an extra spool, and it's full yeah. size. Oh, I know. Just saying. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but. I mean, you can find tackle all day. You probably find fishing bowls all day, matter of fact. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I'm just saying, you go to any marina. I could probably go with a cheaper dressing kit. I could go with different igniters. I could go Wonder with... Fears. I want to see Shane's fishing poles here. Different cookware. That. You know, I'm going to start doing this now. Start doing this now. Let me do. <laughs> Why don't we finish our stream instead of watching you edit your list? Okay. I mean, we but, still have an hour to go, but all right. So, yeah. So, you look at Shane's kit here. He has a whole fucking kit with two fishing poles. I don't have Shane's kit. Let me see. I'm pulling it up here. So, we have two different sizes. Let's go with the big one. Damn. That one's not cheaper. Okay. Let's go with the smaller one. Okay. Maybe not then. <laughs> This is freaking eighty-seven dollars. <laughs> Jesus, I thought yours was expensive. Granted, his comes with two, but yeah, man. is really seventy dollars the best option Amazon can offer for a nice telescoping rod? Yeah, just I mean, about. I didn't want to fall down this rabbit hole, but <laughs> now I'm kind of curious. I mean, there's one here that comes with two. For fifty, that looks pretty decent. Well, I mean, what's the weight, the length? Six point nine feet. Okay. Uh, I don't think it says weight on here, but well, it should have like. Um... 
Does it say weight? Like how much the pole weighs? What are you talking about? The, the, no, like the rod. Like this one's a high density carbon fiber mixed with fiberglass. And so is this one here. This one's, I mean, this one's a single rod for 50. Let me see. Yeah. So you got. Yeah, yeah, this one right here. You know, pop that one up on the stream. Save you twenty dollars. Yep, carbon fiber rod, extra string, little tackle kit. I did the six point nine inch one. Go back to the left side. Oh, <laughs> it's done with the camera orientation. We have 12 oh, episodes where I'm on the change. left, and all of a sudden yeah. you're on the left. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I mean, I that's, sure. That's what I first said, Ben. Forever oh. match, but you need five of them. Let's add that false, one. False advertisement. We're here. Let's go back to the. That's added. Yeah. Right, this so one. I'm making sure we went through super dupes, we went through hot subes, and we went through chains. Ben, you never did submit one, did you? Yeah, did Ben, what's it? up with that? Or Garrett, yeah. Is it two guys at my last job that were going to do it, but for some reason they're an anomaly of people that don't use Amazon. <laughs> Moving us. <laughs> you have to move your border, too. No, I don't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hope you're happy, Garrett. Yeah, you know, just find a way to put our names like vertically on the inside. Um, there. I'm working on that. That's already a plan. Yeah. So, yeah. So you're missing a lot of shit that you had last time that you didn't know. Your tools. Yeah. 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 yeah something like that. Again, though, that's why it's like a constant work in progress. Even mine, after you know rethinking it, I'm like, I could shave off twenty, thirty dollars on the backpack and get yours, and then I could. I already forgot what I was supposed to add to mine. We just talked about it. Like a cooking set, I think. Yeah, cooking set. I kind of feel like. One striker kit's going to last me a while, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm really thinking about the long term, because, like, eventually, you know, after, say, like, the six-month mark when the power grid shuts down and whatnot, like, I'm going to be making a fire, like, a weekly basis. <laughs> like, cook a bunch of food all at one time. Yeah. At least I think. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess it. I mean, at one point you might be doing it every other night. You know, you catch yourself three or four squirrels, make a campfire. That's what I'm saying. Man. Like, I, I want to like, be able to cook my food. <laughs> yeah. Well, at first I was thinking, ah, oh, you know, once a week and just kind of cook like twelve squirrels, but then I'm gonna have like rotten squirrels hanging on my bag until the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> like, unless I caught them all in one day, but. Uh, I, st I still think I'll stick with two, but I wonder if I could find some cheaper ones, maybe, because that is kind of expensive. Fourteen dollars for one striker. Garrett, you gonna put a get list together or what? Somebody might have just sent me one. Let's see. What are you talking about? Tiny survival card. Why didn't you just put that in chat? Tiny survival card. Oh, the little like wallet survival card. 
Can we find that on Amazon to share here? Let's see. Yeah, dang it. Yeah, they're on Amazon. There are whole little packs of them. It's pretty cool. Kind of interesting. Yeah, this is a 12 piece set for $14. That is kind of interesting, actually. Are you sure these were these? Are we sure with the class here? <laughs> it's not exactly, I don't think it's the one he sent, but this one's pretty cool. It's a 12 pack little kit. Comes with a bunch of fishing hooks, little like disposable knives, lures. Oh, yeah, like little cards and shit. Little arrowheads or like spear tips, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I don't know how like durable those, oh, that stuff. That's the thing. You got a mini fork. I mean, it's you know, stainless steel. Yeah, it's not going to last you forever, but one arrow, one small saw. <laughs> one knife, one bait, four trap buckles. What the hell is a trap buckle? Oh, okay. It's pretty interesting, though, still. Yeah, no, I mean, I think... You, I, got, you even got needles on there for some basic sewing. I <laughs> think I'm just going to... I think I would pass them. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I put it in my bag. Again... It might get thrown into that giant list we have going of like, if I come across it, though. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely, <laughs> I definitely have it on a, you know, if I came across it type deal. I feel like we need to have a new or separate list that's like yeah. ongoing for that every time we come back to this discussion. Yeah. Because we had, uh, oh, God, what was that thing? Like the electric water filter, I think was one of them. Yeah. And... You know, definitely things like the buckets of rations. Again, I'm not going to carry that on my way out the door, but I would definitely pick them up. I was trying to think, what was the other things that somebody had? I think there Super Dupe had That's... one that was like a, if I found it, I'm going to take it with me kind of thing. <laughs> still, still love it. Super Dupe putting the O-ring pick kit. Oh, flares. That was the other one. Like, if we flares. found some flares, sure, yeah. I'll bring them with me. But I'm not going to put them in my go bag. Same thing with 5,000 bandages. You know, if I found some, I might pick them up. But I don't think I need that many to start off with. Okay, I'm, like, adding better versions of everything on my list, and I'm already down a significant amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> you still got a little tender kit, huh? Instead of just the standard striker set, huh? Well, no, this is the this is the standard. It's a piston kit, or it's a uh, yeah, it's a fire piston. So you can take a little kindling and you put it in this silver tube, and then you put this oh, rod in there and you push down thing. You're talking yeah, about. yeah. You smack the rod real hard, <laughs> and the pressure makes it ignite and turns it into a little coal at the tip, and then you can start a fire. It's like I, I was looking still, at. I think I'll still stick with a striker. Well, Some gigging heads. Gigging well, heads. again, like I'm gonna have this knife, and it's already got a ferro. So, and eventually that ferro rod will run out. This one you can keep using. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna run out of those materials too. You don't need those materials. You can put anything in there. You can put any kindling in there. That's just what comes in the little kit to start out with. You can put whatever you want in there. Let's see. Got a different uh, cookware kit. Got yeah. a yeah. sponge and some <laughs> sponges. I think Pencil. that's the one. I think that's when you hit last time because I was laughing at your sponge. No, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh. A little fucking sponge. Okay, what else was I missing here? Missing a toolkit. That's right. Because last time you had that like, you know, big like ten piece 
attachment set. Yeah, I'm, I want that same set. Man, there's some even cheaper compasses you can buy that are just like that Boy Scout one. I'm telling you, if I hone this down somewhere, I might still do that in my spare time. Just when we come back to this, you know, a couple months later or something, you know, something new apocalypse movie comes out or something. Here's the reason why I like this kit so much, because not only does it have an axe head and a shovel, it's also got two different types of spears and a little screwdriver head. Like, yeah. got a compass, a window yeah, break. It's got all kinds like, of stuff, but I just, I don't know. I don't really trust whistle. anything that, like, is a bunch of things screwing together because it reminds me of, like, a cat tower. How do you end up with this, like, wobbly thing that you're constantly tightening down? But who knows? Maybe you get some thread tape, make them nice and tight. I'm saying. But that, I mean, the point of it, oh, look at that. Right on the. God damn money, boy. Look and at that shit. 42 cents over. <coughs> Start over. <laughs> Delete it all. Delete it all. No, that's 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 the more <laughs> cohesive loop. That's everything that I was missing. Yeah. That's my final. Idea. And hey, maybe you could change your water pump, too, to mine. That's true. I could. And that'll save you some more money, too. Yep. I, like, I bet you if we worked at it enough, we could put both of our favorite things together and have one $1,000 list that comes with it all. But I don't know. I don't think we could agree on some things. Like, you really want that multi-axe thing. Yep. I just want a good solid spear. Hey, look at that. I'm way under. <laughs> I can put more <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. Probably more. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do more ammo for the slingshot. Yeah, like I said, I had oh. those, what, thousand quarter inch bearings for 16 bucks. Okay, let's see, what do I got left? I got 20 bucks to work with here. Can I, <laughs> can I fit that ration kit? That you well, yeah, if you took off yours, you could, because mine are only $15 a pop. Well, what I could do also is I could swap out the Road Atlas, because mine's significantly more expensive than yeah. yours. Well, that's lots of things to shave money off with. And you wanted to add some string? No, I don't need to, because the fishing kit that I got has oh, string. Yeah. That one. Okay. Yep, I've got money for it. Let's go. I'm going to add yep. yours and mine on Oh, so, so back to what Gary was saying. Well, yeah, like the, well, all right, so we'll hit that too. But with your first thing, lots of minimal space, lots of tiny tools. The problem is like, like Jason was saying, like these are thin metal tools. You know, they're more like emergency usage tools. Yeah. Which man, you know, it might be handy to throw like a universal little mini toolkit, but I mean, that's what the Gerber is, honestly. Well, yeah, for most things, yeah. I was just thinking like a, eh, it'd be a lot of extra weight. I was thinking, you know, like those little bitty, like Walmart dad garage kits. You know, yeah. Like yeah. a few basic sockets and stuff. Uh, the clothing, though, the clothing was basically, we're assuming that we're going to be able to like get dressed and then go get this bag is the plan. Like you're going to store this bag in like an undisclosed secure location somewhere in town that you can safely get to. And you're just going to get dressed, go to that bag, get out of town. So we're assuming, you know, if you carry a pocket knife, you know, you take your pocket knife, you take your fucking whatever kind of pants you want to bring. Whatever. Oops. Yeah. Hat. Hat. You know, <laughs> yeah. Air we or moisture wicking t shirts, you know, that kind yeah. of stuff. Uh, so like your everyday carry is still gonna stay the same, but this is more designed for what oh, are you gonna have in the bug out bag? That's what I wanted to squeeze into mine that I couldn't was some of Shane's stuff, the like uh 
like edible plants and oh yeah the uh, books. herbology medical stuff like you know i've got room on the list got yeah. 30 uh, 20 dollars to work I'm gonna modify my list here let's see so we need the urban food books and then where so we'll modify mine later so whenever we come back to the subject down the road i'll hopefully have a nice master list going on do not eat horse apples yeah i know everybody knows <laughs> speaking of which sort of so you know like horses like to eat crab apples we'll eat any apple really but uh we have a crab apple tree in our front yard we've been trying to grow the last couple of years and right now it has fruit but they're like the size of a green pea oh <laughs> so i pulled one off and was like grace i got you an apple <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's not an apple i guess it is <laughs> It's just tiny. Yeah, it's funny. We bought this. The wife wanted a flowering plant or tree in our front yard because we had this like bush or something, like some kind of little shrub that was out there. Uh, I want to say it was like a magnolia. Uh, I don't know. It was magnolia tree. Yeah, magnolia tree. It was a tree or a shrub, but. Uh, it was Magnolia, I'm pretty sure, but it was just not doing shit. <laughs> like, it stayed the exact same size for, like, the first three or four years we lived here. Yeah. And it looked like it was rotting and whatnot, and so we finally just pulled it out. And sure enough, it had, like, mold on the roots and shit. Like, uh, But our yard retains a lot of water, so it's kind of a problem. So when we went to the nursery, we were like, hey, you know, look, we got a yard that retains a lot of water. What's a plant that's going to thrive in a you know, High moisture wet environment. ground? Yeah. yeah. And they had this, and anywhere else on the budget at that time, you know, we're not trying to spend $300 on a fucking plant. Yeah. And they had this fucking crab apple tree by itself, like, kind of like back corner situation surrounded by other plants you'd have to like look through all the plants to see it back there and <laughs> i was like what was this and like this flowers right and they're like yeah like, well, it doesn't even have a price on it when asked how much it was it was like 70 bucks <laughs> <laughs> for this like almost like drooping over crab apple tree but i was like it'd be perfect like because like i've seen full blown crab apple trees they look pretty they're like pink and shit, right? Yeah, the pink flowers, yeah. And for yeah, those so of you been, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, you know, we've been trying to get that thing going. And it's been, you know, slowly getting better, but yeah. It's definitely doesn't look like that yet. <laughs> like I didn't realize these uh, could get that big. Like I'm seeing pictures and they can yeah, get yeah. pretty fucking big. Like, look at that. Yeah, Those and they are produce apples. Huge. And they are edible, too. Yeah, they're just not the best tasting one. But... Pretty. Yeah. Ours is just a little, like, it's probably about eight foot now, but it's just like a single branch with a few offshoots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks like. Charlie Brown's Christmas tree yeah. right now. <laughs> but, you know, with patience and care. Yeah. Yeah, ours is definitely the pink flowers. But... That's really pretty, though. Like the red, though. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, got off on a tangent about horse apples. And we, I, there was a long short story the place i used to bring grace to when she was a kid to be able to feed horses on the fence line and they had crab apple trees on the fence line so you could pick up you know get some fresh crab apples off the tree feed them to the horses yeah um but yeah not exactly a horse apple but it's apples for horses and i got one growing in my front yard but nice anyway. now all you need is horses <laughs> yeah you want to come be a horse for me? <laughs> <laughs> That's 
my, that's my best. Speaking, that's my best speaking horse of which, which <laughs> Hatsube gave me a hard time for trying to make a turkey sound last stream. He's like, he's like, I did not expect you to actually try and make a turkey sound <laughs> on the stream. I'm like, hey man, we'll just keep it real around here. Listen, <laughs> it's uh, I, it can't be any worse than the goat cat. All right. <laughs> What go cat? Yeah. Oh, you know what go cat I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> hey, no, uh, that's one of the one of my favorite things to do like, playing like Call of Duty and stuff is either reverse psychology or do like a goat meow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly reverse psychology, though, on Call of Duty. I love... Just throws people love off. Love people. It, it's, it cracks me up, because one of the people we play with, and he's probably not watching the stream, because he never does, but Garrett knows. He is one of those toxic, trash-talking people that you hear about and see TikToks about and stuff. <laughs> he's that guy. <laughs> yeah. And he, he, he tones it, he's toned it down a lot since playing with me and Gert. Uh... But every now and then he still loses it. And it's funny because like he's the person that I target whenever I'm playing. The ones that try and trash talk you and I just reverse psychology. I'm, I'm <laughs> talking about how bad I am. Like, oh man, you're right, man. You, you got any tips for me? Yeah. What can I do better? Please help me. Yeah. <laughs> One day I aspire to be as good as you. But yeah. I'm just not there yet, man. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Working or real hard, man. Ones that make it all, ones that make it all homophobic and shit. You know, talking about how gay you are and the things you like to do, and I'm like, dang, it, another player caught me. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I keep trying to keep it a secret, but apparently they can just hear it. They just know. <laughs> like, how did you know? But, but it's because I, I play games for fun. And I mean, to me, that's the whole point. It's it's stress relief and it's fun. Yeah. And you know, you trying to ruin my day by being toxic, like just honestly, makes it that much funner for me. <laughs> and I really wish I would have saved that uh, recording from a couple months ago. Remember, like the drunk guy. Oh yeah. Going <laughs> off on me, and every time I would laugh, he's like. Yeah, you're laughing because you don't have anything to say back. And I was yeah. Like, no, I'm laughing because it's hilarious <laughs> that you get this mad at a video like, game. <laughs> uh, it's just crazy. Like I get, I get pissed. I, I get more. I don't get too pissed off at players. I get more pissed off at like games having a problem. Yeah, just the game mechanics overall. Oh. Yeah. Like twice in the last couple of days, seven days to die. I've like been so loud that I swear I must have woke up the wife. <laughs> like, and it's all because I'll be like mid combat and the game just crashes to desktop. It's like son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just flip out. But if ever I died of another team, it's like yeah, you know that's what the game is. Like, yeah, it is I'm not going to get mad at that. Like, yeah, nobody wants to die back to back to back, but you know. It's gonna happen sometimes, yep. and sometimes you're the one killing a back to back to back. You know, as much as we hate people that go hunting players down, like sometimes that's us. Like, I feel like me and Garrett at least are like 50 50, 50 50 chance that we're just like, not today, murder you in the middle of the street. <laughs> and then other times, you're like, as soon as we see you, we're like, hey, hey, you want to group up? You want to group up? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sitting in the Discord sometimes and I'm hearing your comms, and it seems like every person you run about is like, hey, man, hold on, hold on. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We're just trying to do this task. It's like, God damn, you're trying task. to make friends with everybody. <laughs> it depends on the task because some of these tasks are challenging as shit. So there's three main maps out right now to give context of like the worst one of the worst missions right now in my opinion was you have to go into map number one go to a dumpster at a specific spot and there's like five other missions at this dumpster so there's always players going to this dumpster so you get a tracking device out of the dumpster and then you have to go to a helicopter and exit that map then you go into map number two and you have to go to three different UAV towers and activate them. And then get on the helicopter and exit that map. 
and then go back into the first map and go put that thing back in the dumpster. All without dying. Because if I say bring that thing out of the map number one and go to map number two and die, well, then I got to go back into map number one and, and get, get that, that item thing again. again. Yeah. If I get the item, go to map number two, go all three things, go back to map number one and then die on the way to the dumpster, got to start the whole thing over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It sounds like you just need to get good, man. Yeah. You know, those are the ones that you, you want to scream at as soon as you see somebody like, wait, wait. <laughs> For the love of God, you can have everything out. on my body. Let me just put this thing in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> and people don't give a shit. Either they don't give a shit or they don't speak English. Like, or, you know, they have voice comms disabled, you know, any combination thereof. Yeah. And lately, like I said, because there's so many things at that dumpster, there's people that are literally just camping that dumpster. Just waiting for motherfuckers play, they're not, to show They're up. not doing missions. They're not playing the game. They're not running around the map. No, they just sit at that dumpster the entire match and wait for players doing their missions. <laughs> and it's crazy. You know, like I just I can't imagine, again, going back to the playing games for enjoyment, I just don't understand the enjoyment of that yeah i mean i don't know i just i mean that's like torturing small animals kind of enjoyment you know <laughs> yeah I, I just i don't like call of duty in general well i mean the same thing happens in like tarkov and shit well you just you spawn in immediately tarkov, go over to one of the exits and then just sit there tarkov, and camp is, it the tarkov entire is, a, game. is a little different like this I don't have thing. I don't have people like sprinting and jumping and you know slide canceling around a corner like the audio is way more refined the gunplay is way more like you could I've seen videos of you don't even have to have your reticle on the fucking person and you're hitting them and it's like this one it's like no if you're not on them they're not getting hit nah, I've never it's, hit it's anybody just, without my reticle being on them <laughs> it's just it Call of Duty as a whole, in my opinion, is just not good. I don't like it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think as a whole is a too broad of a statement. I, I agree in every aspect that multiplayer Call of Duty is toxic as fuck. But DMZ is a whole different world. I mean, it's, it's the Tarkov of Call of Duty. And it's much, much better. I mean, when you because like you were talking about you're doing the negotiating with other players and whatnot like you only get that in games like tarkov and dmz where people are actually like treating each other like people i mean i, mean, I don't know I, I like i said i i just i just don't like the gameplay in my opinion the the actual like gameplay between tarkov and call of duty are very different very different yeah. I wouldn't go that extreme. I mean, they're they have a lot of differences, but it's still the same overall concept. I, I I didn't say the concept was different. I said the gameplay. Well, I know I'm talking about the gameplay is overall the same. There's just different variants. Like Tarkov to me is more like like DayZ versus Seven Days to Die. You know, like yeah, they're vastly different games. But they're still kind of the same game. It's still a survival, zombie apocalypse looting game. But one, you know, this is different different game styles, but same kind of game. Yeah. Well, like it, Tarkov is prettier. It's more like God. I'm trying to think of a way to describe it because like DMZ is turning it more into mass AI coming after you at all times. Whereas Tarkov is smaller, more challenging AI at a time. Yeah, and I, mean, I don't know. I, I also think, just think the player base is much better for Tarkov than it is for Call of Duty. Just Call of Duty players in general are just terrible yeah, I disagree fucking people. On that, but you keep <laughs> saying Call of Duty, and I'm saying DMZ. The DMZ player base is about the same as the Tarkov player base. I disagree. Like... I have never once been like cursed out by somebody the way that you do sometimes in Tarkov. 
Like, uh, I mean, I have. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, it happened with me, and I only played like a dozen games. Well, it's never happened to me. I've, you know, got a, at least 100 hours. Yeah, I mean, I've witnessed people camping. I've witnessed people, you know, toxic trash talking. But I do wish that somehow DMZ could be as pretty as Tarkov. Tarkov's a much prettier graphic game. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just think, <coughs> excuse me, the attention to detail in Tarkov is better. Because, like, there are aspects to Tarkov that you just don't see in DMZ. Like, weight actually matters in Tarkov. It doesn't matter, really. <laughs> like yeah. your your bag size, but matters. you're also not really allowed to carry much. So like, well, it doesn't matter. It's it doesn't matter because you can't carry a lot. Well, yeah, but <clears throat> the thing is, like, yeah, what I depending on how heavy your bag is. Like, if your backpack is completely empty in Tarkov you're going to be quieter. If you take your backpack off entirely, entirely you're going to be even quieter. Like, things yeah, like that in uh, Call of Duty doesn't make a fucking difference. Now, if your backpack is full in Call of Duty, your sprint speed is the same. If your backpack is full in Tarkov, you are slower. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that changes with that is which weapon you're carrying. And you have to worry there about... There is a, <clears throat> you have to worry about a lot food. more ways they can make it more immersive. You have to worry about food and water in Tarkov. You don't have to worry about that. In... Yeah. yeah. Like I said, there's ways they can make it more immersive, especially because DMZ has all of these items that you're looting. I'm looting bandages that I can't use. I'm looting IFAX and AFAX that I can't use. I'm losing... Uh... Oh. <laughs> what were we just talking about? The food. There's food, water, rations, liquor, wine, like all these things that could be like eating and drinking. But Well Yeah, I mean but but I think I think Garrett really hit the nail on the head there. It's like Call of Duty was made for console. <sighs> DMs like well, like originally, yes, but since they're merging into this DMZ world, I feel like it's a great step towards a better quality thing that Call of Duty is producing. Yeah, sure. I mean, I but, think I think I think DMZ overall is probably the best thing that Call of Duty has going for them right now. That still doesn't make me want to play it. Well, yeah, but that's not what we're talking about. We're not trying to convince you to play it. We're just comparing the differences. I, I really I I really think there's there's very little really cuz we although the, although the concept minutes although the although the concept <laughs> is is fairly similar the gameplay in my opinion is completely different completely different how you keep saying that like He's... call of duty you see you see a team where you need to go okay i want to go bum rush that team we're going to go kill them and we're going to take that area in tarkov it's not like that oh i see some guys over there let me go run in there you know, slide through a doorway, blast him with a shotgun a couple of times, and be done. Like, no, 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 so I have to... That's sn- not what you do. <laughs> if you do, you're probably dead. Because, again, you're thinking of the multiplayer mentality. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm. have you ever seen Z-Laner play Call of Duty? Have you ever seen Dr. Disrespect play Call of Duty? Anybody who's really good, they do exactly that. Yeah, I mean, I see people doing that in Tarkov, too. No, you But we're not play. talking about... To... You okay. can't slide in Tarkov. You can't hardly even sliding. jump. We're talking about charging in. <clears throat> We're talking about charging versus being tactical. Yeah, that okay. Was the yeah, main okay. takeaway from they that. Charge, they charge in after 15 minutes of sitting around listening and trying to determine location and making entry points. Like it, It's completely different. Again, I've watched videos where people charge in just like they do in Call of Duty. Yeah, but you don't see um, the 15 it, minutes before the video where they have to fucking plan how okay. they're going to do it. I'm, but I'm telling you a half so you can't call me a liar when i have seen it but we're not talking about the the one percenters we're talking about the majority the majority of dmz players don't charge in just like the majority of tarkov players don't charge in does it happen it happens on both accounts 
maybe more so in DMZ than Tarkov. Because Tarkov is a lot more pain in the dick to lose your shit. You don't want to just charge and unless you are one of the one percent badasses. And it's 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 less than of a pain in the dick to lose your shit in Tarkov? No, I said it's more. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say that's the other thing about that's... Call of Duty. You get like a base loadout going into the game. You, if you don't have anything, you don't get anything going into Tarkov. You don't get anything going into DMZ either. Don't you get like a base loadout that you start with? Like you're starting. You go in just fists, and you have to find your gun and if, your fists. If you if you don't have anything, yes. Care about that? yes. Okay. <laughs> that aspect is the same. The only thing that's different is I always start off with a single plate armor vest. And then my bag, if I don't have any backpack, I can only hold, uh, I want to say it's like four items. Four items and two weapons. Yeah. <coughs> no, so I guess the difference is we do go in with throwables and a... Your choice of a what do you call it? A deployable, like an ammo yeah. box. What are those things yeah. called? Yeah, deployable. So yeah, every game I will have a grenade, a flash, and a deployable. But if I didn't have any weapons, just like in Tarkov, I'd go in with just my fist. If I didn't have an armor vest or anything from the last game, I go in with a single vest and no backpack. Well, I mean, I feel like that's another thing too, like. In Call of Duty, difference. you can loot some boxes and get some guns. Well, that's what's it. The difference is, yeah, I go in naked off. just the same, but I can get most of that back fairly. Well, I'd have to say this. An experienced Tarkov player knows the best spots to get certain items so they can go in and get geared out pretty quickly, much like... DMZ. Now that we know the map and we know where to go, yeah, I can go in naked and within fucking ten minutes I got a backpack, an armor vest and two guns. Yeah. Even if I spawned in with my fist. But when we first that's started, you, yeah, shit, you, we didn't know what you, we were doing. And we didn't know say, where to go. <laughs> that's if you get lucky. You know. I mean, and you also have a map in Call of Duty. You don't have a fucking map in Tarkov. Uh, kind of. There's no pinging in Tarkov. Like Pinging is kind of cheating. But the map, that's kind of subjective. There's no, yeah, there's there's no not... global voice chat. <laughs> Come in with your friends and you're out of your shot. You're not going to hear them. That's the same. Oh, well, yeah. Well, again, that's subjectical. It's a PC-only game. So technically, you're always going to have comms with your party. You're talking about in If Tarkov? you're not, yeah. No, in Tarkov, there is, there's not. Yes, there is, because you're on a computer and you have Discord. Well, yeah. If you don't have voice yeah, chat with I'm your not, party, I'm you're doing talking. something wrong. You can have Discord on Xbox too. So I'm. Not, I mean, that that that's a... okay. You can be you in an Xbox. You're not going to be able to talk to your team unless yeah, you're if next you're, to them. If you're not in an Xbox party and you're not in Discord. In Call of Duty, you still have a global party chat within the game, built into the game. It's not global. Yes, you yeah, can talk your to your team, team yes. anywhere on the map. Yeah. In Tarkov, you but, cannot. Okay, you're right. By the built-in feature, if you're only <coughs> using the built-in feature, yes. But again... If you're doing that, you're doing it wrong, in my opinion. Same thing with a map. I well, can pull up the map on my other monitor for yeah. every single match. Agreed. Now, but... it doesn't tell me where I am. I still have to triangulate my location. No. Yeah. No, they they both have their challenges, Gary. And that's kind of what I'm Yeah, discussing. I mean, I, and I, I agree. Like, I, I'm not... I'm not... Better than the differences and I, there's nothing about DMZ that entices me to want if that makes sense yeah I mean that's one of the argument or just you know points we're just discussing all the differences we kind of got off on a, on a tangent about it <laughs> but I don't even remember why but anyway oh we're talking about toxic 
players, right? Yeah, we were talking about toxic players, but we are out of time for the night. We're actually going to end on time tonight. So, That's everybody, three we can argue more. Do do, <laughs> do me a favor. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like the video that we're going to post on this stream in the comments. Tell me which one are you? Call of Duty or Tarkov? Garrett's never played Tarkov, so he's probably going to vote Call of Duty. Well, and that's the other thing. Tarkov is a semi-small player base since it's PC only. But, but yeah. I, I mean, yeah, the, compared to uh, Call of Duty, it is definitely smaller. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, just uh, platform-wise, it's smaller as well. But we, we forgot to go over incoming and outgoing news, though. Yeah, well, let's do that real so, uh, the only news I have is that the FDM printer is back up and running, so I can do all the you know, non-delicate, detailed prints that anybody wants. Yes. Uh, oh, I, I yours I, is mostly functional, right? Yeah, it is functional. I do have. Did you I get do, a picture of that thing you made? I do. I'm trying to. I have to show mine. Made a, I took a, I think I posted it on Discord, but we got the Air Force cookie cutter for a veteran. So, I need to give it to him this week. This was the piece that I printed for a cosplay. If you're a fan of the Tears of the Kingdom, the print is right here. Wait, isn't little, it supposed to have four canisters? It's supposed to have six, but oh. it fits with the costume. Uh, I print all six were printed and built and everything like that. Um, but she decided to just use three out of the six because. You know, makes the character a little unique because throughout the game you have to collect those extra and mm. craft them. So, you know, just playing the part is I haven't. You know, did they make I, it where it lights up or not? I don't think so. At least not yet. Mm. Um, they may not have had time to the lights in that. But I thought yeah, the centerpiece was supposed to be black. Did they paint it? This this centerpiece right here. Yeah, the main piece. So no, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be light up green, translucent no, green. No, the main. Oh, like this the biggest part on the thing. The biggest part of the thing. It was black, and she painted it. That's what I asked. Yeah, yeah. same thing with all the gold stuff that was all painted. I thought you painted it black because it needed to be black. No, no, no. <laughs> I printed it in black. Well, I know. I said I thought you printed it in black because it needed to be black. Well, I, I printed it in black because it was it would have been easier to paint if it were black for white. It would it would be easier to because it's obviously you can tell by the way she painted it it's you know a dark dark green so that's easier to yeah. do on black. Yeah, I just primarily print in white unless something needs to be black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, the resin printer is still out of commission for the next couple of weeks until we get a new LCD screen in. Uh. Yeah, that's it for printer news. Uh, yeah. I think that's all the real rum news, too. I was yeah. trying to find some conventions to go to. There was one this past weekend, but we already had weekend plans. I've been trying to find something else to go spread the rum word, but haven't found anything yet. Yeah. So if anybody knows of anything in the you know Oklahoma, Kansas-ish area or Houston area for Dragon... Yeah, I mean, I'm going. I'm going to. to, go to. Uh, I'm going to Houston Games Expo on the 16th, right, babe? Well, I thought that was like a couple months from now. I didn't know it was this yeah. month. 16th. Uh, so that's going to be fun. If anybody wants to go to that in the Houston area, let me know. I need we'll to find up. one. There was one that we went to that was primarily board games, but you know. Despite me knowingly having a bad memory, I never think to like write things down, save them in a notepad on my phone or something. <laughs> and it's like the next year, I'm like, didn't I go to something? Like, dang it. Yeah. Because it was one they had, uh, it was like the board game bar mm -hmm. in the same town. They were hosting the board game portion and they literally had like a, 20 foot by 6 foot tall wall of board games for you to play. Oh, really? 
Like you just pick one, take it off the shelf, go play it. Like it's like, man, it was a whole like a full on game store <laughs> at the convention, and that was just the pick a game and play it area. That's pretty cool. I, I I'm still like I kind of I kind of ruined myself on cons because like <laughs> one of the first cons I ever went to was PAX Prime in Seattle and that was massive like multiple buildings like giant tabletop area like ex- like huge exhibit hall and then we you know after that I went to QuakeCon with you and that was the, I mean the first QuakeCon that I went to was pretty big too I mean that was pretty impressive and then ever since then, it's just like nothing's been able to, like, hit that yeah, mark. And, was, you know? and what's crazy is things like the DreamHack one, where, like, the tickets are normally, like, $50 a person. Yeah. And we were in and out of there in, like, two hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, and we stopped at, like, every table. Just about every table. Chatted yeah. with people, looked around. Like, yeah. And though that's including our like waiting in line time because we got there before they opened. Yeah. Like the fact that we can just burn in and out was just like, man. Like you were talking initially that you were going to be there coming back on so, Sunday was how much stuff you were expecting. You know, I uh, I found something out, and I you know I talked to Shelby and I was like, you know, honestly, if it was just like me going. I probably would have gone back and I probably would have bought a ticket to like the IEM the adhere, at the, the esports event because one of my favorite YouTubers was there, like made an appearance, was meeting fans. Like I would have bought, I, I, I would have honestly spent more time there if it was just me, like watching the esports. Like I love Counter Strike tournaments and shit like that. Like I would have got a ticket to that, you know. Yeah. And so I probably would have had a lot more fun with it if it was just me, but I don't want to make every, I don't want to sit there by myself with other people doing other things. And I don't want to drag somebody else who really doesn't want to be there along. So it's like, eh. yeah. Yeah. And I'm kind of in the same boat. Like I like that stuff to an extent too, but I'm always with the family yeah. and I know neither of them want to spend more than a few minutes watching it yeah <laughs> no i could sit there and watch all of it man it it, it looked like because yeah. I, I watched like again my the the my one of my favorite youtubers he posted a vlog about the iem dallas and just like you know watching him go through the con and like watch the tournaments and like the the arena that they were in it's like man it looked like so much fucking fun <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need to get good one day and just yeah. participate yeah but one more, one more little one more little picture. So this is something that I'm proud of. If any of y'all are D and D fans, I finally have a D shelf with all my books. Mess, but I got the giant D twenty from the D and D movie, the popcorn tin hmm. books. Dang, see, I don't get to have cool things like that at our movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> Ours is so low end. Like we don't ever get the cool things like that. I would have loved to have a popcorn tin like that. Really cool, like plastic D twenty popcorn tin. <laughs> of course, I mean I say that it's not like I couldn't get one. Like we looked up the what was that one the fuck? It was one that we looked up. You can buy them on like eBay for like twenty bucks. Yeah, I mean I got three D printed too, but that was. A, that's a big print. <laughs> yeah, that is a very big print. It probably cost me twenty dollars in filament to fucking make it, or just twenty dollars to buy well, it. Well, let's see how much the let's see how much the D movie popcorn. All right, we'll look that up, and then we should probably call it. Let's see, D twenty popcorn bucket. Damn. Woo! They're expensive right now. Yeah. Seventy-six dollars plus twelve dollars shipping. Jeez. Let's see. Oh, and apparently yeah. it came with a fabric map too. Thirty-five dollars. Yeah, it did. Thirty-five dollars for the popcorn, and it's out of stock, so you can't even oh. buy it. I'm looking on eBay. It's in stock on eBay. Oh, for it, yeah. Price. God. Yeah, th- this one's going. Look, I found one on 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 there for two hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them that are. Pretty pricey. Like, good 
God. This one's still in the plastic, 200 bucks. Damn it. Okay. Meanwhile, you can get like the Rocket Raccoon Gardens of the Galaxy Metal 10 I box. Also, we also got the, $45. <laughs> we also got the D&D movie cups, these right here. Look on Mercari, $85 for this mug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got this one. I got one of these as well. Metal on the inside is pretty nice. And yeah, that map, I have the map. With the <laughs> nice show. God, what was the one you had? I swear it was one that like lights up orange or something. I didn't get that one. That one was uh, for our Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I didn't get that. That's right. Well, this is the, the poster. There's a Thor hammer one you can get for like yeah, 40 Yeah, I've bucks. got that one right here. I've got that one. <laughs> There's a Fast and the Furious one that's an engine. See? I've got the Thor that's hammer one with the, the rum ship. <laughs> Lego. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like some of those, like I said, I can get the Thor hammer for 30 bucks with, you know, plus shipping, but still. Yeah, I've, I've, we've collected the pretty cool ones. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah, the nice map. to have that option. Well, I don't know. Well, I, I probably still. But here, let me pull out the map. Actually, I haven't pulled out the glasses. You sell it on eBay, man. Make you a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Off, man. Pretty neat. No, that, I mean, you can find a D20 and I can just scale it to that size. There's actually, I have one that has a screw on lid D20 that I use to put the smaller dice in, like a dice container. Yeah, that's like, what a like lot I of people literally just make that. That's what a lot of people that. use that one for is the, just another a big container. It's, it's a big dice container. But anyway, yeah. that is that's gonna do it for our stream. You Thanks want to everyone. Go down a weird rabbit hole though. Google or look on eBay for collectible popcorn tins. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> maybe Apparently, that'll be maybe that'll be our, our, our topic for next week's episode. Collectible yeah. popcorn. Or just weird collectible items. That's a good idea. We'll do that. Yeah. Weird collections. Send us your what yeah, you find. send us your weird collection. If you have one, if you know of any. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what are the weird things y'all collect? I guess the only, well, I don't consider it weird, but I collect juggernaut things. But, but All yeah. right, well, thank you everyone for hanging yeah, out week. with us. Check us out next week. We do the same thing, same day, same time. Follow us on same Facebook. Channel. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitch to our YouTube channel. Uh, <laughs> hope you all have a good night. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that last comment, yeah. but yeah, good night.